to extremely sus blocks all the way to 100 million sniffers. We'll be going over 23 things that you need to know in Minecraft 1.20. So in 1.20, we get the brand new mob, the sniffer. <laughs> It's one of the biggest mobs in the game and can be bred using torch flower seeds. So by giving one, yeah, giving the other one, as you guys know how babies are. Whoa, 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 whoa. you two, get, don't do this in front of me. Get, get a room. And now we have an egg. The egg takes about 20 minutes to hatch. And if you want to speed up this process, I've actually heard if you use a moss block underneath it, then clearly it should speed up the process right so let's leave this for now and let's come back to it later in the video as you guys can see i have a boat in my hands but is it a boat no it's a brand new model of a boat called a raft it can be crafted by using five bamboo planks to create the thing and it looks absolutely incredible what makes the raft so much better than the normal boat is that you can actually add a chest onto it and well that's more item storage and some people have been struggling how to actually access the chest just press e while you're sitting down in the raft with 1.20 guys we have three different types of signs and how they can be hung up. The first one has like a little wood bit. The second one is being hung and the third one's like stuck together almost, the chain. And just to prove it, if you break them and just replace them, it keeps the exact same like format. But what I love the most about the new signs is that if you can type on one side, like we usually do, you can go to the other side and type on the other side as well. Now I'm not even done yet because as you can see, oh wait, what? What? No, just fix that. You can fix signs on signs now, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Right, let's check up on our egg, and let's see if it's... Oh, it's hatching already. One crack equals one third of each egg, so this is one third of the way done. One of the best points about this update is we've got the brand new camel mob. The camel is super easy to use. All you got to do is get a saddle like any other mob, whack it on there, and you could ride it like a pro, I guess. What do you mean by that? No, Mr. Villager, this is my camel. All right, get away. It is really good at climbing the blocks, and I also found if you press spacebar, then it just does this weird gallop thing. But did you know that a piece of cactus can be used to lure the camel to any location? So farmers, uh, take this one into consideration. So one of the best quality of life changes in probably Minecraft history. If you guys go into your video settings, you can now easily change your GUI scale just by holding control and moving your mouse wheel. Mojang did this so that you can actually navigate the menus easier as before you had to just move your mouse like 100 miles a second. Back to signs, a lot of sign updates. You can now dye signs in any color you want. It doesn't stand out on all of them, but on some of them, it looks really good and really stands out. The best is the glowing insect. It makes it white and just stands out a lot more from the other colors. But Wait, the signs say you are weird. Why have you not subbed? Wait, guys, that's a really good question. Make sure you subscribe right now. So I wanted to test whether you could actually change the color simply by using a different dye. And yes, it does work. In my hand is a piece of honeycomb. So what you're going to want to do, guys, is if you right click onto a sign, you should see it starts to sparkle up and then, you know, you can't change it. This doesn't stop your friends from just breaking the sign and then replacing it. This sand and gravel are looking hella sus if you ask me. The suspicious sand and the suspicious gravel looks very different to their normal counterparts. But by using a brush, you can now brush away all the suspiciousness from it and find yourself an item inside if you're lucky. You can find the suspicious sand in desert wells and in temples. Just by placing a sponge, you can get rid of all the water and dig yourself some suspicious treasure. One of my favorite parts about 1.20 update is the brand new mask. If you guys didn't know, there's a brand new mask added into the game that is the piglin head, which is so funny to say the least. When you equip this onto your head, you basically turn into a zombie piglin. All I'm missing now is the skin and I could absolutely troll some people. This is what it looks like on a stand, but I can't lie, I found this absolutely out by myself, but by placing the new piglin head on a note block, it actually makes the noise of the piglin when you hit the note block, which is... It's mind blowing. So I thought, why not test it on any other head? So I tried it and every single one works. The zombie, creeper, even the ender dragon, which is absolutely sick. The only one that didn't work was Steve. One like on the video for every Steve out there. This is what a normal bookshelf looks like. And this is the new chiseled out bookshelf. So as you can see, books are on the entire side, but only on one side on the chiseled one. I really do like how it looks. I like how you can put actual books in the bookshelf, which makes a lot more sense. I think that maybe you should be able to read what it says on the side of the book. But as you guys are going to see right here, what you didn't know is you could get a hopper and place the book in the hopper and it goes straight in. I can see a lot of redstone tutorials coming out soon about this new bookshelf. And by breaking the new bookshelf, everything Thing just falls out all the books everything i ran a whole test just to see if it would allow you to get higher upgrades just like the normal bookshelves would theoretically one may think that this should work it's the exact same concept a load of books and bookshelves but it just doesn't 
just doesn't, which is absolutely sad. I'm coming up with some great ideas here, guys. Come on, Mojang, sponsor me. What you're looking at here is all the new trims in the new Minecraft 1.20 update. And on the table is the new upgrade trim, which can be used for Neverite gear. Now, by using the brand new smithing table, you are now able to trim your arm up. With the combination of just the three key ingredients, guys, you can see that we've got a nice red pattern on our helmet. By applying this to all four pieces of armor, we'll find that we have an entire set of trimmed gear. Now, you might not have all four trims to use this, but to create more trims, you have to use the trim that you use, like this. Uh, you've got to use the block that it's complementary to, like cobblestone for this one. And you've got to use diamonds or the rest of whatever armor types around it. And this will basically just duplicate your trim. And whilst recording, boom, I caught the hatching Ooh. of their baby sniffer, guys. And this baby sniffer is a lot different than it used to be. It was extremely buggy in the early versions of 1.2. So finally, we got ourselves a fixed and fully functional baby sniffer. So the theories are correct. It does spawn quicker on the moss block. And uh, I just killed your son, bro.